startup community leaders here in Colorado truly care. Um, we have over 125 events planned for 2013, all stood up that are their ideas, their concepts, their seminars, uh, the things that they find relevant to really move companies forward in this exciting city. So this is a great opportunity for entrepreneurs, innovators, small business owners to get together to share ideas and really to incubate ideas but also to grow their business. So this year's Denver Startup Week seems to be bigger than ever. There are more events, more people are getting involved, um, more people are coming from out of town um, that are you know big names and to get people excited so I think it's going to be kind of the best event yet. Another great new thing that we're adding for Startup Week this year is Denver Startup Week's Base Camp. And that'll serve really as a clubhouse for all the cool things that are happening throughout the week. We'll have leadership spotlights, mentors, and all in all, it will just be a great place to gather and, and collaborate. It's really just about growing in scope and growing about who it brings in. So, you know, we have a goal of taking it from 3,800 attendees that we had last year to over 5,000 uh, this year. We're already 50% uh, more uh, in the number of uh, events that we have going on during the week. And then we also have added some additional tracks like manufacturing, which I think is really exciting. And there's some great things going on there as well. I get excited just to see all the people, right? I think we have wonderful leaders in the, in the uh, Denver community. I think we have great companies. And just talking to peers and the colleagues where you don't get together that much, to have an avenue to do that, share stories, understand the challenges they're going through, and just to hear how great their businesses are doing, that's what gets me excited. There's a really cool attitude in Denver that seems to, um, seems to feel like Entrepreneurs work very closely with the government and with educational and nonprofit organizations, all with the goal of creating a very healthy startup community to build real companies. I think Denver is a great place to start a business because it has the, all the ingredients of a great ecosystem. Right? It has great talent from a university system to draw from. It has capital that you need to, to keep your business growing. It has uh, a great leadership and ecosystem for growth, meeting with tech stars and all the communities and the collaboration that happens. And it has successful companies to learn from. I think what you're seeing is the awesome combination of uh, great stuff to do, great um, beautiful views, the mountains, uh, the fact that you have access to good talent at relatively cheap prices, and also relatively cheap housing as well compared to New York and San Francisco. And people are seeing that and being like, I want to put my company there. Denver really kind of is the uh, the, the promised land, if you will. It turns out we've got just an incredibly uh, vibrant, ambitious, and creative uh, workforce. Well, it's a great talent pool in Denver. I think we should be careful about telling other cities. We should keep that to ourselves. Denver's on a rocket ride. It's been amazing to see over the last 24 months the activity that's really been led by the entrepreneurs and those building these breakout companies in the region uh, start to be recognized, not only for the companies they're building, but for the talent, the ideas, the concepts, and the innovative products that they're building. And it really starts from the mayor is kicking things off, right? I mean, Mayor Hancock is, is driven to make Denver a global city. Um, there was some 15,000 jobs um, created in the city last year, a lot of which come, came from small businesses and startups. You, make, you are 80% of our entire GDP, uh, and so there's no doubt in my mind that small businesses re really are the engine of this economy locally and throughout the region. And I think as opposed to a lot of other traditional startup markets, what you see here is people ask first, how can I help you? They don't come into a meeting trying to think about what I can get out of the meeting. They go there thinking, hey, what can I do to help you? Because they're seeing other people here help them, and they realize by helping each other, that's really how we get stuff going. Really, it's about um, being inclusive, right? So including anybody that wants to participate in the process, whether you're an entrepreneur, or whether you're just a, a lawyer, or a VC, or an accountant, or even want to just get involved, right? We're about being inclusive and, and, and just you know, bring you into the fold. We're a very inclusive community. If you want to help out, welcome to join. Starting your own business, it's the scariest thing that you ever may do, but you just have to take that leap and know that you'll figure things out, you're going to face challenges, and don't hesitate to rely on your community, rely on your environment to support you in that. Innovation happens in pockets. It happens when really smart people convene, collaborate, um, and, and really work together uh, to tell us the stories of the future. Do it now. Get started. <laughs> Don't wait, right? I mean, if you're choosing Denver as a place, get involved. Talk to people that are in the midst of doing it now, that have done it before, and really immerse yourself in it. It's, uh, it's great to start a company in a place with 300 days of sunshine.
makes life better, uh, makes everyone happier, and uh, I think that lays, lays the foundation for success. If you're a startup, if you're thinking about starting up, this week is all about you and it's for you. It's a way for the community to give back. So leverage it, take advantage of it. I encourage everyone, attend as many events as possible, meet as many people as possible, and then use that going forward to make sure your business is a success. That's what it's all about. The advice that I always give entrepreneurs that are looking to build companies in Colorado is get involved. Um, the community here is incredibly approachable. Um, there, there's no membership pass. Uh, there's no uh, rules to be included. Um, the only rule is that you want to build a better Denver. Um, you want to build a company that's going to make Colorado proud. Um, and you're passionate about following your own dreams here in this great state of Colorado. 